So welcome former residents, great to see you here. I, I know that you've all got a connection with Repanion somewhere. Great to see the current residents coming out in force. Um, Graham Massey of the Mayor, welcome, great to see you and we really appreciate the support that we've had from the Shire in this town, so thank you Graham and welcome. Um, welcome to Member Bellowen, Emma Keeley, so welcome, great to see you here and um, we also appreciate all the different things that you've done in this community uh, in your time in, in office. Um, welcome. Uh, welcome to Jean Wise, Councillor Jean Wise, great to see you here. And Corinne Hines, you arrived late. <laughs> welcome and, and we appreciate everything you're doing representing us here, so welcome, great to see you. And, and some of the Shire staff, um, great to see um, Gavin and Jesse here as well, we know the work and we thank you for your work in getting um, this here. So welcome everybody here, visitors and friends. Um, great to see you, and I think we'll just, we'll just kick off, um, I'll have a bit to say later on, but Graham, if you would actually like to um, come up and officially um, acknowledge your country and um, officially open the weekend, and if this veil works properly, we'll unveil the, the plan. <laughs> thanks mate. Yeah, thanks very much Russell, and uh, welcome everyone to Rapania for this uh, long weekend of very many exciting activities. I'll start the uh, proceedings off by acknowledging that uh, the events this weekend are taking place on the traditional lands of the Wachabolic, the Yagwa, the Yagwiyali, the Wagaya and the Chopokol people. And I pay respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. Uh, yeah, look, it's a great significant occasion and look, it's a great pleasure in representing the uh, Council today to, to officially open uh, the weekend for you. And I congratulate uh, your committee and your town and your district on uh, attaining your sesquicentenary. <laughs> I had to practice that word. <laughs> I looked it up because we did, we, we did one in Warwickville a couple of years ago. Sesquic simply means one and a half. So it's one and a half centenaries. But you can uh, trust the Latin scholars for creating a, a, a word that's hard to get you know, your tongue around. Look, I just want to do a few words to, to put it in perspective from uh, the Shire's point of view that the local government in this area has been around for a long time, 1864, when uh, this particular part was in Wimmera Shire. And then uh, the Victorian Parliament decided that they would introduce a series of land acts and in 1869 they passed the Grant Act which allowed freehold selections of 320 acres to be taken up uh, for people who wanted to do farming and that brought the, uh, the European and your first settlers into the district and they certainly made a great gist of it because many of your families can trace their roots right back to those first selectors um, 150 years ago. And uh, as a consequence of that, the Shire of Dunbuckle was created. And it was formed on the 28th of September, 1877. Six councillors elected to represent the residents of the new Shire. And of course, we all know the history of the Shire. Three towns vying to be the centre, Rapanya, Tawa, and William. <laughs> Rapanya won. Uh, and uh, justifiably held on to it despite losing the Shire Hall in the 1880s to another town. Uh, the, the meetings were rotated but I think the Shire remained headquartered in Rapanya. So, uh, and then of course in January 1995, uh, Dunlop ceased to exist and so did Yarra and so did and the current Shire of Yarra Yambiak was created. So, we have now 25 years of realisement, so we haven't sort of done yet, we've got to work on that one. So look, I congratulate the Rapanya 150th Committee, a committee on the, the initiative you've taken to bring about this event for the three days. You've got a lot of organisations uh, running and uh, helping you to provide the activities and functions that will take place in the next three days. So this is a wonderful occasion and uh, Welcome 
all visitors, locals and past residents to the town for the next three days and hope you have a really enjoyable time and get to renew old friendships and make some new ones. So I'll hand back to you now, Russ, and you can keep going. <laughs> Thanks, Graham. And um, I think we need to officially um, open open that now. You know, we need to do the official thing. So I'll hold it while you un unveil the plaque and um, celebrating 150 years, celebrating this weekend. This is what this plaque commemorates: is this weekend celebrating 150 years of settlement in Rapid. Okay. Go for it.
Firstly, an apology from John Brady, the chainsaw artist. He's very busy in sale with the life-size carving of winks in his front yard and his growing reputation. He says he's busier now than he ever has been before. You can clearly see why. He has started on the carvings of the two children to be placed between the kindergarten and the school. And the best is saved for last. It's the Rapanio Warner. <laughs> <laughs> so, stay tuned. <laughs> we can all recall that wonderful group of retired farmers with their well recited stories of drought, fire, flood, a great memory for the seasons, dust storms, and a wisdom that sometimes we don't value as much until we start sneaking up towards their age bracket. Then it's really worth hearing. I especially love the dry wit of times past. The working conditions that they endured were all physically hard days. In the tractor shed at Woods Museum, you'll appreciate that there was no cabin, no headlights, no rubber on the tyres, and was started with a crank handle. Sometimes. <laughs> the physicality of moving hay, grain and wool all by hand is daunting now when you think of our machinery. They could never have imagined, I'm sure, that the future of farming would be bulk storage, grain shifters, telehandlers and computers. Some will forever be semi-retired and need to fix things in the shed. They might need to visit the farm and cast a glance on the work being done with perhaps a helpful comment or two. There would be a rain gauge on the fence in town and baling twine to recycle the newspapers. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a great pleasure for me to dedicate this memorial to farmers past of the Rapanio district. Thank you. What a great example of some of the people that we have here in Rapanio and some of the leadership that is displayed and some of the initiative that we find in, in this community. Um, great idea that, that visitors can come to our town, have their photo taken on the bench next to the pup from Rupp and, uh, and his master. And, um, and this, will, as Carmel said, will be situated over at the new precinct when it's built. And this, mem this memorial here will be placed somewhere near it in a strategic place. Um, so this is not its permanent home here. Um, and I guess that leads into um, just like to uh, again welcome Emma Keeley here and, and thank her for her help in, in getting this precinct idea up and going and the support she gave in that. But on a, on a, a more level front, just recently, <laughs> the help that you gave Debbie to get that licence for the pub is very much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very uh, much, Russ. And it always is one of those proud moments when you can bring beer back to a community. <laughs> um, as uh, Russell said, Repanium is the town with pulse. And that is so reflective of just the, uh, the meaning of this community. It is a fantastic double entendre and shows perhaps some of the witticisms, uh, but also the passion that is within the Repanium community. When we look back over times past, it was built and it's still very, very uh, much reliant on our agricultural sector. Uh, we all remember those Crown Lager ads with Andrew Weedman reminding us that we don't just grow barley, but we grow beer in the region. But from that, we built on it. And it's not just through ensuring we retain our history through weekends like, to, like this weekend, celebrating 150 years. It's also by visiting 
Woods Museum, and it's lovely to see Michael here. Uh, it has to be one of the best museums that are around the entire region. Uh, it's one of those jewels in the crown that about every month somebody will come up to me and say, Emma, have you been to Woods, Woods Museum yet? And of course I have a couple of times. And people are just blown away with how it is all presented. Uh, the comprehensive collection and of course the amazing volunteers who support uh, showing people through and making sure they have a good understanding of the foundations of Rupp. But Rupp is unlike other communities across the region. Uh, we have different levels of towns and our smaller communities reflect them best in country regions. I have a huge electorate and every single community is a little bit different. The thing that makes Rupp exceptionally amazing is that you come up with ideas and you don't just expect somebody to come in and give you the money and to do it for you. You actually have the passion and this teamwork within the community to make it happen. And you look at this over a long, long period of time. It's not something that's happened recently. It's something that has been passed on a, a long generations. Uh, if we look back, of course, we've got uh, the Bailey Banquet. It started back in 1995, and I think most people across the state have heard about the Bailey Banquet. Perhaps have enjoyed one too many at the Bailey Banquet, uh, but it is it's still as strong as it has always been and sells out in a matter of minutes, if not hours. Uh, we go along then and look at the fantastic Silo Art Trail, and this is something that Rapania was very, very proud of, and they wanted to make sure it represented the future. Uh, and that's something that's so important. You don't see that this is a town that's dying or diminishing. You see that this region has a very, very strong future, as do I. And we've got the home of the, the Rapanya Pavinia Community Bank, the model that was born here in Rapanya. Uh, something that I know provides so much benefit, not just to this local region, with over a million dollars of returns uh, to local community events, uh, to community organisations and to important initiatives, but uh, also, this is something that's benefited the entire state, uh, a brainchild, of course, of local people. And I know Dave Matthews and Adrian Tyler had a lot to do with that, along with other committees, uh, committee members over the years. Uh, coming up soon, we've got the Rupp Dirt Music Festival. Uh, it's our 10th year this year, so look forward to Easter. I'm sure you'll have a great weekend this weekend. Come back in about a month. Uh, and I congratulate Lynette Nash Teasdale, Ray Kingston and Carmel Hill Healy. They're all regular contenders of the movers and shakers in town. It's always the same people who do a great job. Uh, our this small business and community groups are doing things differently all of the time. Uh, as Russ mentioned, we've got the hub uh, being built very, very soon. It'll be fantastic when that's open because I'm sure it will attract new businesses to the region. Uh, it's always a bit of a, a naughty pleasure of mine to drop in and see Claire at Rapaniot Living, perhaps pick up some of those super chickpea flour brownies that I can't stop eating uh, and buy some other bits and pieces uh, just because I can and it's important to support local business. Um, and also of course we've got the pub back, uh, which is really important. It's all for Winter Town's pub closes. Uh, this is not just about supplying alcohol to the region. It is a really, really important meeting spot for the community. It's uh, somewhere where you can sit and have a chat, uh, perhaps over a soda, uh, but you can also make sure you have a nice meal. It is somewhere, it's really the heart of the town and make sure that when people do come to your town, whether it's a visit, uh, look at the side of life, maybe it's to um, rub this gorgeous little club from rough on the tummy, which is something I want to do, uh, and uh, this lovely uh, farmer and the, all of the farmers that that man represents. Uh, I know that people will continue to visit this region and look at it fondly. This is certainly, Rapanik is certainly a thriving town. You have an enormously bright future. I'm always looking forward to coming back and hearing what that next great idea is and working with you and side by side with you to help make it happen. Uh, I would like to just finally congratulate uh, Russ and your team that makes you look very good. I think Ellie's done a lot of work as well. Uh, Carmel also. Um, this is how Russ introduced me today, um, this to me today. But I do congratulate all of you for all of the work you've put into this weekend. It takes an enormous amount of time and energy to do that. Uh, often we think about these milestones in communities and we let them pass. It's too hard to organise something or it all happens last minute. So the fact that you're willing to recognise 150 years is a really important milestone for this community. 
uh, but also that you're willing to put so much effort in uh, so that there are so many events on over this weekend where people can look back, they can share their memories, uh, remember some older faces, um, find some newer friends, perhaps remember some of those stories that they wish had been forgotten many, many decades ago. <laughs> Uh, but I'm sure that there will be a number of memories that are created this weekend and perhaps uh, in 25 years or sooner you'll be able to come back to Rapanya, uh, join each other to share in those stories again and to see how much further this township has come ahead uh, over that period of time. Congratulations Rapanya and I wish you all the very, very best, not just for this weekend but for the many years into the future. Tima and, and um, to, to our uh, official party for, for making this um, part of the weekend um, off, off to a great start. Emma, you did, you did say that um, people are trying to make me look good. That's impossible. <laughs> but they're doing their best. And I just want to thank the committee. Um, I want to thank Ian Morgan for suggesting that we need to celebrate this, um, this event. Um, but I really want to thank the organising committee because it was a committee that, that um, got together um, and just recognised the, the things that had to be done and we just organised little subcommittees to organise each function and just reported back to the meeting on how it was going. And so I really appreciate all of those on the committee um, for, for what we are about to receive. <laughs> um, we've got a, look, we really have got a great program and, and tonight it's going to be fantastic to remember and recognise John Teasdale's role in this community. He um, wrote the Bank 2 uh, for previous, he wrote a lot of the books for the previous Bank 2s, but his footage is, um, we are so thankful to have that and tonight will get the pleasure of um, watching some of his and his father's work. Uh, I thank the Teasdale family for putting tonight on. It's going to be fantastic. And um, really, and we will showcase the new projection equipment and, and the screen, which has just been put up. Um, so you'll see that tonight. Tomorrow is the, the big day tomorrow. Um, big thank you to Helen and Barry Baker for um, really pushing the show side of it. Um, and Beck Dunlop, you have done a fantastic job in setting up the farmers market tomorrow. It's going to be a great venue for us to meet and greet, and that's what the weekend is about, just providing places for us to come together. So Beck, fantastic. It, it, when you get down here tomorrow, you'll see how much work she's put in and, and her team. So thank you very much. And um, Val Hample, thank you. The gala night, tomorrow night. Um, Val's put a lot of work into that, and I know she's conned a lot of you into um, getting on that stage. Good luck John and Tony in bringing all that together. We look forward to John Bell and Tony O'Day being the mortar for, for all the, the bricks that are going to happen tomorrow. <laughs> so, so thank you and, and really look forward to that. Sunday starts off with the church service in the Anglican Church and thanks to John West who's going to lead us there. Um, those with tickets can go to the um, Sunset Banquet um, in Linda Graham's paddock. Many of you will remember Linda Graham, so it'll be nice to remember her at, at the Sunset Banquet. So thanks to the major events, some of our young leaders really standing up. Monday winds up at the Billabong, just a casual time, um, you know, to wind ourselves down. Um, and we'll all be pretty... I hope we're all really tired by, uh, <laughs> by Monday. Um, I think most of you are aware that registrations and memorabilia are available in the supper room, so if you haven't registered, please do before. And remind others, if you see people without a name tag, just remind them to duck down and, and, and get registered. Woods' Museum will be open, and as uh, was already mentioned, what a great asset for this town. This town is indeed indebted to the Woods family for that marvellous museum, so um, please take the opportunity um, in any gaps in your schedule to pop down, you can get a ticket there and it'll be, uh, you can use it all, all uh, weekend. So please uh, pop in and see that. Um, this, and, uh, and the Historical Society um, in the old, um, I can't think of that, the, uh, the Freemasons, thanks Bushy. <laughs> was it Bushy? Yeah, it was Bushy. At the Freemasons, pop in there, there's some great memorabilia in there. 
Helen Yui and your team, you have done a great, a great effort down there. Congratulations for all of the historical stuff. Even, even in the church service, you know, I had to ask Helen, can you get us a photo to put in it? You know, that sort of stuff has been happening all the time. So great work by your people. Um, I've just been to the pub and it was great to pop in there, but um, if you want to book in a meal, um, nothing's, been, nothing's been booked out yet. So if you want a meal over the weekend, just pop in and um, we'll ring them up and book in. But there's still plenty of vacancies for all, all uh, parts of the weekend. And, and just a little one, there is no FPOS available here, so it, it will be a... We live in a cashless society, but not in rough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, just be aware that um, that's it. So look, we hope we've just provided a place for you to meet for the weekend, enjoy each other's company, greet your old friends, reminisce, have a great time, and um, we'll partake. And we thank the Shire for paying for the... Um, the meal and the, and the refreshments um, now that the Lions Club are putting on. So please um, enjoy each other's company with, with the Lions Club and we'll get the weekend underway. Thanks very much. Service and he, uh, yeah, he does more to make himself look good than he, he gives himself credit for. But, but yeah, w welcome along. And this is, uh, I guess, other than the official opening that most of you probably attended, it's uh, the first of the uh, events that we've been planning for um, a couple of years now. So great to see the hall pretty much full. So uh, that's really good, and uh, really happy everyone's here. So. Uh, just as a way of introduction, and you know, Repentance 150 years old. Isn't that staggering? And <laughs> yeah. so uh, yeah, it's uh, unbelievable. And I, I, I'm 
coming up 56, and it's, um, when you think about it, that's about a third of the history of the town, and I've been here that whole time, so it's um, in some ways a little bit depressing. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, uh, you, you sort of think that, and, and uh, then, then, you know, Bell Hempel's here. So. <laughs> Sorry, Mel. <laughs> Couldn't help myself. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Mel's, a, Mel's a local treasure and uh, president, chair lady of the whole committee here and does a spectacular job. So, uh, so anyway, yeah, thanks, Mel. Uh, growing up here my whole life, and like everyone else that's grown up here their whole lives, and probably people that have spent time here. Uh, you, you sort of means you've got a lifetime of spelling out every time you, you uh, give your address. R U P A N Y U P, and uh, you do that all the time. And it doesn't always work, though. Uh, as I've got an example here, uh, find the right button. So. Uh, <laughs> Easy dial bit, um, and the repangent there. They've obviously used the New Zealand spelling. But anyway, that coming a parcel only from Swan Hill. It's not like it's from Broome or somewhere. But it, but it did find me. Uh, so uh, anyway, yeah, there's there's that to it. But, and then the other thing you've got to put up with as well is you've got to put up with all those people that like mispronouncing Rapanya. So we'll, I'm sure we've all had them. Ah, oh, Rapanya! Yes. So uh, we all learned to yeah, put up with those sort of people. But the other thing is, of course, about Rapanya, we've got the best postcode going around. Double three, double eight. It doesn't get much better than that. So um, just as a side note on that, I, I reckon that you could unlock 90% of the fun smartphones in the room. <laughs> Just by punching in double three double eight. I can really guarantee that. <laughs> I've gone double eight double three. <laughs> so uh, the hall here is, uh, actually turns 100 years old this year too, which is also unbelievable. This building's 100 years old. And uh, it's still here. You know, we, we're still going pretty good, thanks to the committee which I'm, I'm on, and uh, and uh, I remember my dad was on, sort of felt like all well, my young life, and probably most of his, his life, so, but um, there's been things going on here quietly, um, we've got a, a few grants to sort of do things from uh, not only just sort of uh, government things, but other local organisations, so the, the hall's part way through being re -blocked. we've got a little bit more to do there, and um, a few jobs associated with that, so that's been good. The hall's also been lucky enough to receive some um, extra For me, it wasn't remotely the same experience. 
But was there still a place for film in this brave new digital world? Oh, we, we just got to be kind of, we just got to be good for that, I'll definitely be 
I think I don't know if it's going to go on there. We'll be set up at half past 11 for anyone who'd like a practice, but the official competition will be starting at 1 o'clock. Um, love, love to get some uh, locals having a go in the novice section. If you'd like to have a practice any time after half past 11. I've got a little bit of work on. You're going to the dinner. Oh, see. Yeah, I just got to return this call, sorry. You do? Return the call? The system. What's it like to be home? Oh, it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> really enjoyed Rapanya. And Rapanya have enjoyed you. Yeah. How many, years were you, here? How many years were you here? How many years were you here? 17. What a great effort. Yeah. No. And it's 25 since I left. Isn't that incredible? Well, yeah. well welcome back, Ted. Glenda Sharper and done a good dad. What an amazing man he was. Oh, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie. <laughs> Eddie Sharper's story. Well done, boys. Oh.
pamphlet. It does, doesn't it? Evening is top and white tie and tails. Nothing now could take the wind out of my sails. Because I'm invited to step up this evening in top and white tie and tails. I'm putting on my top hat, tying up my white tie, brushing up my tails. I'm Dooting up my shirt front, putting in my shirt studs, polishing my nails. I'm stepping up my dick to breathe an atmosphere that simply reeks of class. And I trust that you'll excuse my dust when I step on the gas. For I'll be there, putting down my top hat, mussing up my white tie, and dancing in my tail. Hello, 
we're going to sing a couple of First World War songs and uh, we'll see where we go from there. So. It's a long way to Tipperary. It's a long way to go. Feel free to join me. It's a long way to Tipperary.